slide the selector plate into the grooves on the side of the gearbox. You want the selector plate to move freely. Secure a cutoff lever with a screw. Make sure the screw is tight, but the lever can move freely. Insert the cutoff lever spring. Install the trigger safety bar. When the safe mode is selected, this bar will move and block the trigger from moving. Install wire harness. Make sure the post and the screw hole are lined up and centered. The plastic harness will be flush with the gearbox. Use the screw to secure the wire harness to the gearbox. Pay close attention to the bends in the wire to see how they go back into place. Put the black wire underneath the red and secure with a placeholder. Make sure the wire going past the motor pinion is at the lowest position. If not, the wires will be damaged. Attach spring to sliding trigger contact. With the trigger and spring installed, the sliding contact can move freely. Double check to make sure it moves and touches the contact plates. Install spur gear. Shimming will be another video topic. Install the anti-reversal latch. Press down on the anti-reversal latch to insert the bevel gear. Insert sector gear. Make sure the teeth are not sticking up. Slip air seal nozzle onto cylinder. Tap a plate fits into the ring for the air seal nozzle to secure. Secure spring to gearbox post. Please do not forget this. Before sliding in piston, make sure the sector gear is not in the way. Have the piston and the gear in this arrangement to prevent damage. Notice how the trigger spring is popping out. With a slight downward bend, it will be less likely to move out of place. Have patience when working on your gearbox. Bend the spring up a bit and it will be easier to install. To close gearbox, press down on the cylinder, slide in spring and spring guide. Some parts may move while performing this. Use this example to correct. The trigger safety bar may stick out. The anti-reversal latch has to be lined up with the axle hole. Keep in mind the spring is under tension. Caution! If the gearbox and parts do not line up correctly and snap together, please open and start over. Do not get frustrated, start again.
Reinsert Spring Guide. The spring guide has posts that line up with the gearbox shell. Move anti-reverse latch, line up, and gearbox should snap into place. Press on the air seal nozzle to make sure the tablet plate is loose and attached to the spring. If this is not springy, you will need to start over and attach the spring. Hand tighten all gearbox screws with a torque screwdriver. Do not over tighten or you may strip the screw heads. For further help with the gearbox, please use our Echo One forum for advice from me, the Echo One Tech, or your fellow Airsoft players. If you do need any spare parts for any of your projects, please use our store locator and if the store does not have it in stock, you can always find it at our Echo One Parts Shop. Just visit echo1usa.com slash shop. For special and unlisted items, please contact me at info at echo1usa.com so I can find it for you. For great high quality internals, I recommend using modified parts. From their gears to their pistons and everything in between, they are very affordable and get the job done. For all the latest Echo One news, contests, and discussions, please check out our fan page on Facebook.com. Just search for Echo One USA on Facebook to find our fan page. For up-to-date info or to ask questions, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Brian at Echo One.